Hello guys, my name is Olusha Sakamagasan Fjord and today I will show you how to install the latest Android version 7.0 Nougat on your Galaxy S7 or Galaxy S7 Edge uh, device. So for that you will have to have your device USB cable and uh, it's recommended to have the original one. Then you have to download Odin, the latest version. So well, here we have 3.12.3 and then you can download it from a lot of sites. One of them is Samsung Odin download.com or you just type into Google so that you just get this kind of links as Odin download.com and so basically the first three links are correct ones that is usually so um another thing what you have to do you will have to download and uh, so this is the first website which uh, link you, which address link you will have on my description below the video so here is the how you download you just make sure that this firmware fits to your device you can see that the model name is galaxy s7 model more exact name than version pda and many other things and uh, what we do next we go to and make sure that it's not korean it's the english b2 version also make sure to back up your data before flashing flashing firmware with Odin wipes internal storage. So that is very very important thing. So here is the download link and also mirror link, some source information. So you just click on the download link and make sure guys this is done on your PC Windows version. So. I have a MacBook, but I also are, I'm running now Parallels Desktop, so don't be confused. So this is how you see, and uh, you just click on the download link, and it's being downloaded. So, well, this version takes around 2.21 gigabytes, and it takes a while, but. I can assure you that I have already downloaded it, so I will just stop the download. And uh, and uh, on my parallel desktop, I will just head in to where I need to go. So here is Windows 10. Okay, just make it full screen. Then once the Odin software is installed and it's also extracted because once you download you will have to extract that. So just extract all. We can also uh, click for run but I uh, really really tell you that it's better to make sure that it's extracted and once it's done so just double click on the folder and make sure guys that here you will click run as administrator so that's also very important in order to all things run smoothly then click on yes and here we go so uh here is the new thing in this version and it's like tips how to download home binary and we can see the old model download one binary and blah 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 a new model download bl plus ap plus cp plus home csc so um, basically it looks like this you put the file here according according the proper file here another one here and another one here and the last one here so um, and basically it looks like this and once uh, your phone is in download mode and I will not do this for my phone because um, this is not my phone and uh, I will have it like very soon so but uh, I will just show you how it's done so first thing you click on the volume down 
and make sure that your device is is powered on off so just make sure that it's powered off and one it's powered off totally so just click volume down then click on the same time home button and then the power button so you have to click it on the same time and once it goes to the download mode you will see and it will look like this so basically it looks like this yeah I can just I'll just type seven. so mainly it looks like this or a little bit similar to this kind yeah so it's you will see that it's official and whatever yeah and how it looks like and guys now once you're in just make sure that you click on bl and uh, also make sure that first you will connect usb cable so once it's connected so you will see some port here and it will show you that it's inside that it's it's working that it's just a second I will try to okay and once it's done so just click on BL and find the first shortening with BL just click on that select once it's put and you will see the binary size which is really low and the second one is really high binary it's over 4 gigabytes so it will take a while once it's put you can see that the program itself it's not even responding but don't worry just wait for like few minutes and and then can take up to I think two or three minutes but nonetheless it will be finished so guys also when you put uh, when it's entered so you will see the ID com and here will be the number as well and also the here the, here in this stage you will see all the stages that like um, put uh, past or error or whatever so okay you can see that it's already added and then we we'll click on CP we put that and we put the last one CSC and once it's done you can see leave CS and everything is put and this is the binary size and this is for Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge, I think that was for okay. So, nonetheless, so once it's put, you just click on the start, and then you will see the process. The process will come here, and it will take some time, but nonetheless, it will be really done fluently no worries and uh, you can see some things done here so as i said i also um, make sure that you wait uh, for the first boot up will might take for like even five minutes and if you guys have any problems with boot up so search for my videos with a like boot up program a boot up problem or boot loop Samsung so in these videos I will show you how to fix this problem also I have a Galaxy S6 Edge uh, I had also a problem when flashing so uh, there will be a way how to fix this so just make sure to search for that video